We're out here at Broncos practice, catching up with Mike Silver. Mike, uh, the big move for the Broncos this offseason, obviously bringing in Russell Wilson. What do you think that does for the expectations of this team? Well, first of all, I'm still adjusting. I'm checking them out carefully in practice, and I'm like, blue and orange? I mean, it, it is an adjustment, but it's really cool. Um, you know, I've seen some wild things that I've had to adjust to in my time. I've seen Joe Montana play against the 49ers, seen Brett Favre get booed coming out of the tunnel at Lambeau in a Vikings jersey. So, um, you know, it's kind of the way it happens sometimes. But, um, you know, I'm really excited just because, listen, we know this division is the group of death. And, uh, you know, you've got Patrick Mahomes, unbelievable. Justin Herbert, you know, rising to the stratosphere. Derek Carr, who is at the very top of his game, and now Russell, all in one division. And then the other thing is the the men chasing them in all four situations are also <laughs> monsters. And so uh, I, I just, I'm fascinated by the AFC West and how it's going to play out. And if you put this Bronco roster with Russell Wilson in a normal division, I'd say, hey, I think they're probably going to win it. But I, I don't know what to think of the AFC West. You know, can they all get in the playoffs? I guess technically. Well, the NFL schedule makers knew what they were doing. Game number one, head into Seattle. You think Russ has a little something to prove this year? He's got a chip on his shoulder? I mean, I think the thing with Russ is he he's always highly motivated and he always channels, um, you know, the best energy. And so this is a guy who I remember uh, he got drafted. He was a third round pick and I showed up at his first training camp and coaches players were telling me this kid showed up and was the leader from OTAs he acted like it and he you know backed it up and so I have no doubt that he will come in here or already has uh leading with energy with positive energy and so you know I I don't know that it's as much about something to prove as he's just a very very driven guy and he is unfailingly upbeat uh during the week and on Sundays. He will walk the sidelines, in, even in daunting circumstances, telling everyone on the sidelines, we're going to do this, we're going to win, and believing it and getting others to believe it. So that, to me, is the most exciting part of it. And then you add in the energy of a new head coach who is one of the more uh, energetic people in this sport, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a new buzz around the building a little bit, uh, not just with Russ, but Nathaniel Hackett, too. What do you know about him? What, what do you think he's going to bring to this team? I mean, I, I know that he comes to work at a very early hour every day. Just He probably doesn't even need coffee. He's so uh, hyped up and, and excited and curious and, um, you know, just very, very energetic. And so he's a, he's a guy who he's – uh, cutting edge when it comes to tech. And I know that, you know, during the lockout or excuse me, during the pandemic, he, uh, you know, he definitely made the most of that in terms of teaching with players and has incorporated that part of it, you know, in, into this situation. And so it's, it's not going to be dull. It's not going to be subtle. And uh, I, I think people, players and everyone else around here are, are vibing off it. The last one for you, Mike, here is just uh, George Payton. There's a lot of confidence in the building behind him. It seems like he's building things here. Uh, do you think he's already one of the better GMs in the league right now? I do, and I'm happy because he was one of those guys for years, and, and I knew him, and I knew how – popular he was in the NFL community in terms of potential jobs that he just didn't feel like a job was right. He turned down uh, literal GM offers. Could have been the GM of the Rams back when Jeff Fisher got hired, I know, and uh, Les Snead is still there. So um, the fact that he finally took a job excited me. I was here, if you remember, for that first draft. I think it's going to age really, really well with Patrick Sertan, with Javante Williams and others. And, uh, yeah, I think you know he was already so respected as a talent evaluator. He's got a great, great interpersonal uh, skill set, and I, I know he's excited. I just spent a bunch of time with him. I know he's excited about Nathaniel Hackett, about this staff, and about Russell. And so other than the division being the group of death, <laughs> everything is positive and everything's exciting. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate your time. Great catching up with you. Appreciate you, Phil. Great talking to you.